The first 30 days are absolutely crucial in your journey to alcohol freedom. These are the days that build self-confidence, they build self-belief, and they build a strength in yourself that is able to withstand all the things that are about to come in the, in the future. So here's five things to expect in those first 30 days. The first thing to expect is just valuable sober experience. And I know it doesn't seem much, but this is crucial to your journey ahead, right? It's one of those things where you go through four weeks, you go through four weekends, and you're building up experience of what it's like to be sober. And it's one of the toughest things in any habit change is to teach that, is to get to that stage where your experience for yourself, what your sober journey is going to be like. It's the only way that habits are truly beaten, day by day by day, brick by brick by brick, right? And that's the way you have to go through this. That's the way you have to approach this. Like I said, it's the most prized learning. It's the one that is most difficult to teach, but it's the one that we spend a lot of time on, especially in the early days. If you want to become a student, come up here. The second thing is to expect the dopamine pull. And what we're talking about here is, in the early stages, your habit is trying to pull you back. That understanding and that experience that you get from those first 30 days, what that does is it gives you self-confidence. We call that the dopamine pull. So what you're doing is you're getting little hits of self-assurance which are pulling you forwards. And at this stage also your dopamine levels start to balance out. You don't really notice at this stage, but that's what's starting to happen. And you start to get those little hits of anticipation because you've got conviction that you're on the right track. And anticipation is what the dopamine chemical is really all about. Now, number three is much, much better sleep. This is something that you're gonna find as soon as you stop, you're gonna find that maybe your sleep is a bit hampered because you're not being knocked out, but your body is gonna go through a transformation over the next month, which means that you'll be getting better sleep than you have done in your entire drinking life. Your sleep, it starts to improve from day one, even though you might not be able to feel it yet. Every time you go to sleep and you are without alcohol, you're gaining energy, energy that you can use the next day. We're talking about small little improvements every day, and they're gonna wind up to big growth in the future. I really noticed the difference once I got past those first 30 days. My sleep was really, really good after that, you know, and you know, you get the odd day where you're stressed out or something like that and you lose a bit of sleep, but in general, overall, and that has a huge impact on your life, like I said. And the next thing that you can expect is just to have much more attention to your own life. You know, alcohol really fucks up your attention. You know, think about you in drunkenness and what that means. I mean, you're basically giving yourself a temporary chemical frontal lobotomy every time you get pissed. You know, you're drinking and all these chemicals are floating around your system and you can't think straight. You can't make decisions straight. And that doesn't just last as long as the drunkenness lasts. It lasts afterwards. It's a cumulative effect that starts to eat into your life, eat into the weeks and months of your life, eat into that decision-making process. And it has a lasting effect. And it doesn't just affect one area of your life, it affects all of your life. You know, that decision-making process that is being hampered by that frontal chemical lobotomy is not just affecting the area where you're drinking, it's affecting the decision-making in every single thing that you do. Every choice that you make is being affected by alcohol. And once you stop drinking, on the other hand, it means that you get all that back. You get super hyper-focused and you're able to give the proper attention to the detail in your life, to the individual choices, to thinking out, thinking through the choices and into making uh, very competent solutions and competent decisions. And number five, expect improved thinking and clarity. And just think what that means to you after 30 days of not having this alcohol in your system, not having the poison in your system anymore, your brain is sharpening up and it has a snowballing effect on everything else in your life. In those first 30 days, just have patience, stay focused, focus on that first 30 days. And by the time you get there, you'll have a lot more mental capacity to move you on, and move you forward. You'll feel in a much better position. Uh, watch this video next. Take care.